I can't stand intros. Hey, greetings and good day one and all. I hope you're having a super fantastic day wherever you might be. And welcome to the Johnny Juke channel. Well, I can't stand intros either. So I'm kind of glad that creepy guy keeps doing that. Uh, what you see before you is from my last video. And I liked it so much, this by the way is my slip joint collection. I, I'm gonna use it as a backdrop for a little while. Why not? It seems to, uh, seems to look good to me. And it gives me a chance to talk about other things as I kinda move along. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, another top five. I'm not sure I'm gonna get a lot of views on this one because uh, Cold Steel or Buck is not in the title. It seems if I put those two names in uh, in any of my titles, I seem to get a lot of views. Uh, I should put, put those in front of my music videos. Uh, by the way, if you've never been to my channel before, I am not a knife reviewer or a multi-tool reviewer. Uh, I, I am a musician, artist, who happens to like these tools and has a little bit of a collection going on. And I also spend time in the woods. I don't call myself a bushcrafter but I do bushcraft type things. Uh, making coffee is my favorite and I love thumping on big knives. So go into any of those videos and see what I do. And that's it. So let's move right into this. Um, before I really get going, uh, there's only a couple of people that I know that watch these videos regularly and um, one of the things that came up in this uh, slip joint collection, uh, this is for you, Walt. This is the pouch that comes with the dog bone jack. So I don't think you're going to be unhappy with this dog bone jack. As a matter of fact, I think you're really going to like it. And here's what it looks like in a pouch. And from the pants pocket, this would be sticking out and you would see this and just a little bit of that. I think it looks awesome, and I think it works awesome as well. Um, unless you're doing cartwheels all the time, you're not gonna lose your knife. Um, I did, you did ask if you could carry bigger knives in this pouch, and this is like one of the biggest I have. This is the uh, large Stockman, and it's a tight fit. Will it still work? Mm, yeah, it will actually. I mean, your pants pocket here, so they'll be a little bit sticking out. And anyway, I hope that answers your question, Walt. Um, this is the Rough Rider, and it comes with that dog bone jack. So hopefully that answers that question. And yes, I'm gonna do another video on care and maintenance and all that good stuff on these. I've got some techniques and I will be happy to share them. So let's clear the air on two more things this squeak that's my chair and you could probably hear the heater it just came on so I'm staying warm I am in Canada and it's cold out today top five multi-tools I have a huge multi-tool collection and I'm going to share with you my top five and by the way there are some great reviewers out there uh, one I came across once I uh, restarted my channel. Um, I deleted my YouTube channel and started fresh from the beginning. And uh, one of the channels I came across right at the beginning is um, the Texas Tool Crib. And he, um, he really gets in depth and he uses his uh, multi-tools, which I respect. So people who use their tools, as I was a tradesman for most of my life, obviously I'm gonna respect. So, let's move right into it. What top five would be complete without the honorable mentions? That's right. And where do I start with the old, um, the honorable mentions? I'm going to start with the Victorinox Spirit. Might be the Spirit X. Very comfortable. A lot of you are thinking, whoa, wait a second. If he's putting this one in the honorable mentions, what's he going to show us? Well, it's all about taste, right? It's all about what we like. 
I like the fit and finish on all of these, of course. And here's the uh, Swiss tool, the bigger brother. I like everything about it. It's, I have no problem with it, but I have to pick only five and I've, I've got a pretty big collection. Another honorable mention is going to go to the Super Tool 300 with its battle scars after I worked on my van with it. I, I like bigger, go back to my old, my top five uh, monster folders. You'll know that I like things that are big. Don't know why. And last honorable mention is the uh, charge from Leatherman, the Leatherman Charge TI or Titanium. And I think it's an obvious why it's in the honorable mentions. It's a little bit pricey and it's very akin to the wave. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna put this other part of the, uh, yeah, I'll just put that there so I can put my top five in. All right, so coming in at number four is the Gerber MP500. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, what's this guy on? Why would he pick this one in his top five? Well, the number one reason I picked this one to be number five is purely out of sentimental value. This is the first multi-tool I ever purchased back in the 90s. And I carry it with me every day. Uh, I was a framing contractor back then. So I was always fixing uh, compressors and nail guns and saws and tools and extension cords. And I have a lot of fond memories. And one of them is pinching my fingers or pinching my skin. Uh, this is why it's called, Nick. It, the nickname of this one is called Mr. Pinchy. And you can still get these on eBay. And I, I just like the military look, and I, it might have been, even been issued to the military. But uh, let's put him in there at number five. Uh, coming in at number four is the Leatherman Crunch. This comes in in the top five because it's unique. It's different. It offers something that the others don't. Vice grips, if I can use that word, vice grips, but um, it it offers that, and the other tools don't. So I have to say that that's unique, and they work absolutely fine. And the one thing that a lot of people don't talk about is the extra quarter inch driver, which is down in here. And if you're like me, you carry the extension and the bits and all that other stuff in your pouch. Uh, you'll never hear me call it a sheath because then we would be calling things like mag sheaths, which just sounds wrong, a mag sheath. So anyway, I digress. And I, by the way, if you call it a sheath, I mean, obviously I don't care. That doesn't really bother me. So. Number five, number four, let's go to number three. Number three is the Leatherman Signal. The Leatherman Signal comes in at number three for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's unique, it's different. It offers, you know, some different things, sharpening, ferro rod, whistle. But if you go to my hiking videos, you'll see that I spend a lot of time in the woods. Um, hiking up a mountain or um, just that bushcrafting that I was talking about. I carry this in a pouch, the Maxpedition pouch, which I'm going to show you in a second here. And it's a very handy if you're in the woods. So I don't need to carry anything else with me if I go on a hike. I feel satisfied with this. So that's why this one comes in at number three. And it also has the replaceable cutters. So that's kind of handy. Coming in at number two. That's right. It's the Leatherman Surge. I've got three of them. And I picked this one for the, uh, for the showpiece. The Leatherman Surge. I like it for a lot of reasons. And 
I don't know what else to say. I have left so many comments on videos or on uh, in forums when people do reviews or talk about the, sh the surge, and my comment was always the same: the surge is king. So if you if you've ever seen any comment like that, you know it was me. I've left hundreds of them. That's how much I like it. It's yeah, it's a bit heavy, but it, it feels like a tool. It feels like it's it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Why isn't it number one? Well, you guys are really going to be surprised at my number one choice. And my number one choice is the SOG Power Lock. What? Why this over the Surge? I'll tell you why, and there's only one reason why I picked this over the Surge. Otherwise, the Surge is, you guessed it, king. There's only one reason. Every multi-tool that you see that I carry, I always carry another knife. This is about the pliers. To me, all of these tools are about the pliers. That's the only reason I would carry this. And I carry them all the time because I might need pliers. That's the type of person I am. I always think about what I might need. And these pliers are just awesome. I like them over the surge for a lot of reasons. When I work on my vehicle and I'm doing electrical and if I pinch a wire in there, it still functions. It's happened so many times that the wire gets bound in there and the handle comes out like this and the wire's still in there and I have to look for a pair of pliers to open the surge to get the debris out of there. And it's always frustrated me. So that's the only reason, the only reason why this one comes in at number one. So I know what you're thinking but they are really smooth pliers and I'm gonna go based on pliers only. And I know um, the Texas Tool Crib has done some amazing videos on testing and cutting. And uh, I, I think that's, you know, absolutely great. And I've watched quite a few of them, but um, I'm just gonna go based on my own experiences. And that's basically what I've dealt with. And it's been very frustrating when they get bound um, if that was alleviated, I would I would probably do something like this. And uh, when it comes to scissors and all the other things that are in there, um, you know, these have scissors as well. They still work. But I, again, I carry a, a Ranger, uh, which I'll get into another top five. Uh, but uh, anyway, and here's how I usually carry all my multi-tools. So this one happens to have the Wave Plus in it right now. But yeah, it's in a Maxpedition pouch. And when I look down at my belt buckle, this is what I see. Sorry, this way. Open it up, because it's horizontal. I just slide my belt buckle over to this side, you know, and I look down and I see this. It's very comfortable. And when I go backpacking, the strap for the uh, backpack, it kind of comes around and I cinch it up just below here. So it works out perfect. This thing doesn't get in the way. So. This is a great way to carry for me, works for me. So I hope you enjoyed that. Top five multi-tools. I can't really say any much more except for, if you like it, do that. If you don't like it, do that. If you like it, do that. If you don't like it, do that. If you like it, do that. If you don't like it, do that. If you like it, do that. If you don't like it, do that. If you like it, do that. If you don't like it, do that. If you like it, do that. If you don't like it, do that. If you like it, do that. If you don't like it, do that.